It seems like once a month, a new unlikely face emerges from the underworld. And is thrust into the world of fame and fortune. Whether from shooting a gun out of a window, stealing donuts, or pouring lemons in their eyes. Is this all by chance? Is there a formula behind this success? More importantly, can it be replicated? This is Understanding the Internet. Today we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment. So as I'm sure you're all aware, it seems like once a month there's a, a new face popping up on the internet, you know, for various reasons. Maybe they have a very long neck. Maybe they have a very wide neck. Maybe it's just an egg. So the experiment that we're going to run with here is, can we use some of these methods, create our own persona, and perhaps get a little bit of traction on the internet? Just how easy is it? Can anybody do it? That's what we're going to figure out. So, to start off, I have a few stipulations, okay? I'm giving myself a $100 budget to do this with. And so far, I've spent $45 of that budget. I've spent it on this. $5 on a fake gold grill. It came with a uh, top and bottom set, but if I only wear the bottoms like this, who knows? From a distance, it looks real enough. Second purchase, I bought $10,000 worth of play money. Uh, this ran me $10. And then the final purchase was a fake Supreme money gun. Now, this is honestly probably, this is definitely overpriced. It's not worth $30, but I mean, it's kind of cool. From there, we need to come up with our persona name. So what I decided on was Blonde Jesus. And the reason why I picked that is one, because it's a very ignorant name that, uh, that pops. If you're scrolling through Instagram or whatever and you see a username Blonde Jesus, it, you, you're gonna notice it, basically. And reason number two is, I mean, come on, it's, it's the obvious choice. I mean, look at me. Yeah. So for piece of content number one, we're using the fake grill and the fake money. Let's dive into that. We're out in the field, we're shooting with our friendly neighborhood homeless man. His name's Ian, we recruited him to be a homeless guy because, mainly because of his beard. So what we're gonna do here is a very Supreme Patty inspired clip. You know he does that thing where he walks up to people like in drive throughs and it's like, hey, for $2,000, you quit your job right now, like we can hang out. Two bands, hop so out. Just hop right out this one. The idea is, he's a homeless guy, I'm gonna walk up to him, exchange a few words, and then I'm gonna aggressively throw like $1,000 in his face. So it's like, you know, I'm a nice guy because I'm giving him a lot of money, but I'm still a piece of shit because because I'm aggressively throwing it in a man's face. And yeah, it's just got a nice uh, v virality, virality, virality sort of uh, factor to it. And that's what we're going for. Let's get it. What's up everybody, it's Von Jesus right here. And we're on the street, there's a little homeless dude up here needs a little help. That's where we come in, Project Take Back shit. Now for piece of content number two, I had this laying around my house. It's an airsoft gun. I spray painted the top so it's not orange anymore to look real. And that'll make sense right when I roll this clip. As you can see, I just put the finishing touches on making this, uh, this gun here look a little bit more realistic because what we're going for here is, this is very inspired by uh, Zillikami and Shiner's, uh, Shiner's 13. We out here, boy. Fuck you, me. And also, Lil Pump, that famous video where he's like yelling to skid it and he shoots the gun out the window. Uh, so, what we're kind of gonna kind of do here is recreate that. Basically, I'm just gonna walk into my backyard and like say some ignorant shit and then uh, 
just like pretend to shoot it in the air, but then I'm gonna edit it to make it look like I really did shoot the gun. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Blind Jesus out here, Project Take Back. You know, they call me the uh, suburban menace. And things seem a little bit too quiet right now. I don't like that. Let's kick it up a notch. Oh, shit. <laughs> Project Take Back, man. Blind Jesus out here, Project Take Back. You know, they call me the uh, suburban menace. And things seem a little bit too quiet right now. I don't like that. Let's kick it up a notch. <laughs> Project Take Back, man. All right, what's up, how's it going? We're in uh, the best store in the world, Burlington Coat Factory. This store really is dope as hell. Uh, so basically, all we're doing is just finding a, finding a jacket with some nice fur on it and taking pictures in it because there's nothing more swag than a, a jacket like this, like for real, with the grills in. So, thanks. And, and you gotta do a pose like this. I see this pose all the time. It's like you're walking and you can't, like your, your feet have to be like a foot apart at all times. And yeah, we're just doing it in the store because I'm not going to buy this. This is, oh, it's only $25? I might get this for myself, no lie. Hey bro, no cap, might get this for myself. <laughs> So at this point, I decided that Blonde Jesus needed to really sort of dive into his character a little bit more. And uh, as we all know, we live in the era of kids getting face tattoos. And so, uh, you know, I had a bunch of temporary tattoos laying around my house. And just for the sake of this video, we'll go ahead and add it to the budget. Uh, this probably ran me five bucks and I, I literally have like a, like 200 of these sheets laying around. So, So for this part of the video, I think it's necessary for my blonde Jesus character to get a face tattoo. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fake a picture of that happening. So we got we got my man Bush over here, he's gonna hook me up, cause it's uh, necessary for the aesthetic. And we have a uh, tattoo kit that I just we just borrowed from a, a friend of ours. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting this on my face, it says always, right underneath my right eye I'm thinking, just cause I, I'm always gonna be winning. I think the hardest part of doing this is I want it to look like I'm smoking a blunt while I'm getting this because that's, I mean, let's be honest, that's pretty cool. And then this is how I'm going to do it. To give it that effect, you see? So, let's get this shit done. So it's been a few days since I've made the Blonde Jesus Instagram and did the promotions, and I think it's time to see how it's done. So first I want to talk about the promotions that I did. So I ended up just putting $5 into a few different posts. $5 on the homeless guy video, $5 on this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture. So that's $25. So I still have $25 in my budget that's just unused. And then if we go to my profile at the top. I had 1,485 profile visits in the last seven days. Now to me that's pretty impressive because that means that people are stumbling across my sponsored post or seeing me on the explore page, whatever it is, and then deciding to click on my profile and, and then go through, which is pretty impressive because it's, it's, honest, it's hard to get people to do that for whatever reason. So my best performing post was my homeless guy video. It has 1,932 views. That's not bad. Of course, I wish it would have been better, but I mean, I'll take it. That's not bad at all, especially off a $5 promotion. And then one thing I think is interesting is the video of me shooting a gun. I didn't promote this video. I thought about it, but I, I decided not to because I figured if I did promote it, there's a good chance my account would get deactivated, so I didn't. But it has 263 views. And like I said, I didn't promote it, so that means people are coming to my profile, looking through, and deciding to watch this video. 
Which brings me to my next point. I think the most impressive thing that's being done here by Blonde Jesus is, uh, is this story arc that we've created. You know, it's this guy who apparently dropped out of college and then appears to have started to lose his mind a little bit, ran into some money at some point, got some grills, got a money gun, started throwing stuff in homeless people's faces, shooting guns, getting face tattoos. It's a very outlandish story but in 2019 it's very believable like if you didn't know me stumbled across this page you'd probably just be like yeah th yeah this guy is real he's got this face tattoo he's he's wearing these grills like y you would you'd probably just believe it which to me is crazy because it's made me realize as i've been making this video that most of these people that we know and love on the internet doing these crazy things it's it's probably all fake there's a good chance that most of it's fake i mean look at the 21 savage situation we thought we knew his narrative 21 savage is basically a blonde jesus it's this fabricated narrative we thought he was from atlanta we thought he grew up there and blah 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 turns out he's from uk or whatever so it makes me think if me one dude and a couple friends and not even a hundred dollars can create this fake character that looks real imagine what a multi-million dollar marketing company can do imagine this scenario you know take the race almost too good of a story to be true he makes a song while he's on the run from the cops drops it the day he gets caught the video has him uh next to his wanted poster and then the song ends up going like what top 10 on billboard or something like that now do i think take is a industry plant no i personally don't but is it possible is very very possible because i know it's a meme uh that like you know old white people that run these big companies they don't understand the internet and that's probably true but these people are definitely smart enough to be hiring people who do understand the internet and this has been understanding the internet let's get out of here we got shit to do hey what's up playboys how you doing just want to say real quick, uh, thanks for watching that video. It really means a lot to me. If you want to support the channel, a good way to do that is with some merch. Just got this brand new metal piece in. It says for world, but you can't tell, but that's kind of the beauty of it, right? I got some new pieces as well. We got this snack. We got this for world, just classic tea. We got this, you know, just, it's all around just good stuff here. We're not playing around, this is good stuff. And if you want to win a beanie, all right, if you want to win a pink legendary four world beanie embroidered, post a meme in the Reddit or the Discord, links to both those in the description uh, that revolves around my channel. And once a month, I'm picking winners for the beanies. And yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, subscribe, notifications, blah, blah, blah. blah. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Look at that. Look at that.